Air Masters of Tampa Bay started as a small family company back in 1983. The American dream for founder and owner John D. Young, a driven and talented air conditioning technician who embraced his trade from a young age. It takes a little electrical, it takes a little plumbing, you know, uh, you got the service aspect, so you got the air conditioning business itself with refrigerant. It's an always changing environment, and maybe I like change, and I guess that's the attraction I had. That attraction led to a passion. John set out to build a thriving Florida air conditioning business that would be different from all the others. It became a top priority in our company treat everybody with respect. The customer, the employees, everybody down the line, that's who we are. That's what it's all about. Good morning, Amy. Hey, Philip. Hey. No one knows hey, that Philip more than Philip Gonzalez. Okay. 16 years ago, Philip was a maintenance tech with Air Masters. It's kind of the American dream, starting from the bottom and working your way up. He's now company vice president. He says John DeYoung is his mentor and has always led by example. Instilling hard work, dedication, and quality service to our customers uh, with integrity. But what we've got here are people who actually truly care about what they're doing. Air Masters now has a large team of gifted employees, and we've served thousands of residential and commercial customers. All service technicians are factory trained and must perform at the highest standards. All right, great. We're ready to go. We pride ourselves on getting the job done right the first time around. It's a very tight ship, but we trust our people because we've got good people in the right places to get the job done. Add to that firm foundation Beverly Bosley, company president, who also worked her way up, even though she's the boss's daughter. I'm very proud of where I've gotten to. I think he's proud of, of what I've accomplished. Beverly, in fact, is only one of seven females in the country to hold a mechanical contracting license. This is a valued edge in the air conditioning industry. I think so. I think women will see things uh, more in a bigger picture than sometimes men. They tend to be a lot on the technical side instead of seeing the whole picture on how the AC working is affecting your whole entire comfort of your home, not just the mechanics of it. And I think we get that perspective. John says he's proud to work side by side with his daughter. And our last bond came through without a problem. Good. It seems like just yesterday he was coaching her softball games. I'm, I'm content. I'm just truly content on how uh, this is all working out. 